This is a really good example of my number two super secret thrifting tip. I took a moment to look this up on eBay and you are not going to believe how much it's listed for. Hello everyone, it's Tiffany with Thrifting Vegas. I shop at thrift stores, estate sales, garage sales and discount stores for items I can resell for profit on online platforms like eBay, Poshmark and OfferUp. It is the Friday before Halloween. It's about three o'clock in the afternoon and I am headed to the post office to drop off some packages and then we will go down to Goodwill to see what Halloween bits I can pick up on sale and to see what else they have here. I have about two and a half hours to shop, plenty of time. I'll see you there. We are en route to Goodwill and as you can see it's an absolutely gorgeous October day here in Las Vegas. It's about 70 degrees at the moment. Uh, we've had some chilly nights down in the 50s and the mornings have been just a bit crispy when I've been walking bare. a lovely change from three digits in the summer. This is my favorite time of year. It's nice to have the windows and doors open and get uh, a breeze through the house. We are going to the Goodwill on Ulta and a Rainbow. I'm going to turn here because they are doing more construction here in Vegas, city of perpetual construction. And over here, is uh, you'll see as we turn the memorial wall from our um, terrible horrific event in Vegas where many people lost their lives here's the wall just a tribute Vegas strong so nice Here we are at Goodwill and I'm just noticing how dirty my windows are. We must have had a drop of rain last night because the dust has apparently stuck to it. Anywho, <laughs> without further ado, let's go into Goodwill and see what we can find. Let's go thrifting. So it's the Friday before Halloween and I am curious to see whether they have any of their holiday or Halloween items on sale. We'll have to remember to see what the colour of the day is because all uh, tags of a certain colour are 50% off. Let's go inside. Let's grab a cart. In just a few days all these Halloween items will be moved on out and packed away for next year to make way for fall, Thanksgiving, Hanukkah and Christmas bits. Here we are in the hard goods section and right off the bat I have spotted some really pretty vintage clear glass candlesticks. Quite a few companies made these for Storia, Heise, New Martinsville. They are etched on the bottom with flowers, really pretty, $5 a piece. I don't know uh, who actually made these. This particular design is one I haven't seen before, so I will pop them in the cart and look them up on eBay in just a few minutes to see what the current market value is. Down here we have some blue willow pattern. That's interesting. Made in Holland, $2.99. The ink is quite smudged in places, so I'm really not sure what's going on there. Oh, look at these. Absolutely gorgeous sunflower candles. Now I don't usually pick up candles, as you know, because uh, shipping in the heat of the Vegas summer uh, results in rather a mess. But as most of you may know, I have a 
slot reserved in Danny the Niche Lady's new store. I'm going to have my own room. It's a booth. Ooh, look at this. A pink Himalayan rock salt candle holder. $6. It's a good deal on that. Sometimes they can be quite pricey. I love the fact that this has such a smooth finish. Sometimes they're quite rough and salty. <laughs> Let's see what else they have up here. It's a blue mushroom candle. Lots of little crystal holders. Today, I am going to be sharing with you my top three super secret thrifting tips. Let's jump right in with number three. Shop with an open mind and always check every single aisle of your thrift store, even the ones where you don't think you're going to find anything. How many of you saw my video where I found a glassy baby in the vase section? And the Daniel Popper Tendai Dao statue in the plastics aisle? You just never know what you're going to find. I do like the look of this little lidded jar. It's blue and white ceramic. It's $6. It's not marked. I think I'm going to leave it. All sorts of things on this shelf. Here's a percussion instrument made out of a gourd and cymbals. Some angels and little toddler figurines. Here are some really colorful Dutch clogs. Ooh, this little trinket dish is lovely. It has the look of Raku. It's only $2. Let's pop that into our cart. If you're enjoying the video, it would mean the world to me if you could give it a thumbs up, drop a comment below, and subscribe to my channel with the little red button in the bottom right hand corner of your screen. I do like the look of these candle holders, but unfortunately Goodwill has put tape across the whole lot and I don't know that it's worth the trouble to try to remove it. More little dishes down here, serving bowls. Oh, look at this. I immediately recognize this as George Briard. His signature look is a square plate with gold His signatures there. At the corner, $2. That's a no-brainer. This is fun. <laughs> I think I'm going to take this just because I love it so much. $3, a fun little sign. Look all over the shelves. Move things around. Look high, look low. It's very easy to miss something when there is so much to see. This is a sweet little teapot, like a picnic basket. Unfortunately, it has a massive crack at the corner there. I think it's been glued. So we will have to leave that. It's an interesting little candle. Oh, look at this bear. Not this one. He has a crack in the front. This one. He's super duper heavy. He reminds me a bit of Blue Mountain Pottery. I am going to pay up for that because I think he's something special. I have a feeling he is a Native American fetish bear. That is just some sticky label goo on him so let's get him safely in our cart at the back here is a midwest of cannon falls rabbit midwest of cannon falls is a really popular brand it sells really well for me so i am definitely going to grab that piece here is, oh, I thought that was going to be cast iron. It's a light resin. Oh, look at this flocked cat. 
flocked pieces are very, very collectible. So I'm definitely going to grab that. This is a decoupage cactus, quite interesting. Let's take him. And this I recognize as Jim Shaw, but unfortunately she is missing a hand. It's taped on next to her other hand. She's $8, but my problem here is the fingers on the other hand are missing. So even if I made that repair, she would still be missing fingers. So I'm going to leave her. Here is a Humpty Dumpty bank who has been uh, broken, ironically. <laughs> Let's see. It's a really tall amber sort of jungle themed candlestick there. Not ever such good quality. This is an interesting floral piece. Quite modern. Oh, I like this little cardinal. He's made of resin and he's glittery. Only $3. This would be a very fun addition to a Christmas display. We'll take that. Just want to make sure I don't miss anything else back here. A few more birds. This is a little fishing basket candle holder. Back here is a poppy travel mug. As I pick it up though it's very lightweight, not ever such good quality. It's not marked so I am going to leave it as much as I like the design. Checking the very bottom here. There are some little display pieces, collector plates. I tend to steer away from collector plates. This is a unused little fall themed candle. It's Hallmark. Lovely little piece for this time of year. Definitely take that for the booth. Look at her. She's absolutely gorgeous. Look at her pink hair. She reminds me of my friend Vicky, of Katie and Vicky. Do check out their channel. <laughs> She's lovely. I'll take her. And look at this little um, wall hanging. It's vintage. It looks South American. We'll take that too. I see a snowman. Here we are in the Christmas aisle and look at this snowman. He appears to be fiber optic. We'll have to take him over to the testing station just to make sure that he works. But I love his Christmas tree sweater and snowflake hat. In the cart he goes. Let's see what else they have here. The mugs and bowls and tins, glasses. Some little musical cherubs there. I love the idea of this. Unfortunately, it is very, very modern, made in China, and uh, has quite a bit of damage to it here and on the back. So we will leave that. M&M mug. A little Santa, he's fun. Checking all the way up top, and here's another a fiber optic snowman. Let's grab him for a pair. There we go, in with his friend. 
Always checking boxes. This one has an ornament in it. Sadly missing its hanger. Oh, look at this one. This is a handmade sequin tree. I do really well with these. They're lovely. Each little sequin is attached to the tree with a pin. Lovely piece. $3. We'll take that. Let's keep going. Little nativity set there. Sadly, baby Jesus is missing. More figurines and ribbon, cookie jars, some bells. It's another box. It's a little teddy ornament there. We'll leave that. What are these? Oh, I do well with these. These are reindeer place card holders. They're $5. Metallic. A really fun touch to your Christmas table. Let's definitely take those. As I'm putting these in the cart, I noticed the plug on this fiber optic snowman and I really don't know what I would need to make this work. So they might end up going back on the shelf. Over here is a Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer plush. He appears to be singing in slow motion and I'm not seeing any way to change his batteries. But I am going to pop him in the cart, look him up on eBay, and see what his value is. I don't think he's too terribly old, but we will see. Little pumpkin sipper. There's a candle. There's a Shopkins tree. Unfortunately, it looks like some puppy teeth have uh, got a hold of that it's got some holes in it so we will leave that oh this is fantastic somebody put a lot a lot of work into this tree it's crochet around a polystyrene frame absolutely lovely for three dollars you could decorate that and make it look absolutely gorgeous we will definitely take that. We are here in the baskets and the wood and I do really well with these artists wooden mannequins for figure sketching. We'll take that. Lots of baskets and shelving, plaques and signs. quite a nice basket there. Here we are in the vases and florals. I do like this but it's extremely dusty and I really wouldn't know how to clean that effectively. This is quite fun. Very thin glass though. Decorative floral pieces. A couple of nice hummingbird feeders here. We have so many hummingbirds in our yard and I'm thinking I might need to add a couple more just so they don't fight as much as they do. So I am going to grab these, make sure there's no damage, all the little perches are there. Let's make sure they're not brittle because sometimes when plastic is left out in the sun, especially here in Vegas, it gets brittle and breaks. But yeah, I'm going to take those two. We'll pop them underneath the cart safely and keep going. Some wreaths. What's this? Some blue decorative roses. The shelves are ready for some new treasures to come out. More florals. 
Ooh, this is a pretty piece. This is painted brass. It, I thought it was enamel at first, but uh, as I look closely and see the damage on it, um, this is a made in India painted piece to look like enameling. The paint has a little bit of glitter in it. Um, yeah, but sadly, the quality is just not there and uh, there is scratching to it. So I am going to leave that. Look at this flamingo. He is fun. Really like that. Oh, but he originally had a handle which is broken off. That's unfortunate. Some painted bottles. Lot of modern florist items here. Ooh, look at this. Not this, that's a target piece. Back here is a Native American pottery piece. It looks to be signed $4. Let's see, does that say Sioux? I think it says, yep. Signed by the Sioux tribe, only $4. We will definitely put that in our card. I love the green color with the terracotta. Let's put it safely up front here. There we go. Let's finish off the shelf. All sorts of modern pieces. That's fun, unfortunately damaged and modern. There are lots of these target vases here. Oh, I like this. This is Grace's teaware. It's a little canister with a bamboo lid. I love the little leaf design for fall. That's $4. Just checking to make sure it's in perfect condition, no chips or cracks. We will take that. I'm wondering if there are any more in the set of those. Here's some milk glass. I do have quite a few milk glass vases, so I'm going to pass on those. Here are some ceramic bowls. Unfortunately, they seem to be quite discolored. There's a painted bowl here. Moving into the clear pieces. Oh, look at this. This is a really fun piece. She's five dollars, but I do really well with these face vases. Very mid-century modern. I'm trying to figure out what that label under the label says, but uh, we will definitely take her. Just finish up the shelf. I don't think I'm seeing anything else here. Let's finish this last section of all clear pieces. It would be fantastic if you were doing an event and needed vases. There's so many here. Nothing is jumping out at me. These are vintage. Here in the metal aisle, I've spotted this uh, bust sculpture, but sadly it's very, very damaged, scratched and flaked paint. It's a vintage Pennsylvania little drinks tray. This is a four leaf clover, 24 carat plated, but very, very worn. Oh, I do like this brass platter. You could do a fantastic candle display on that. It looks to be vintage, really nice shape. 
do like that. Let's put that in the cart. Some decorative wall pieces, more vases. Oh, look at this hanging glass sun catcher. It's dragonflies. Uh, so many of you love dragonflies. I am definitely going to take this. It looks like the uh, chain for hanging is included. It says welcome. That is lovely. Some baskets. Here is a number seven. Some serving trays. Oh, look at this. This is a lovely little oil painting on slate, it looks like. Made in Portugal. Definitely vintage. Only $4. What a lovely little decorative piece. We'll take that. More baskets. What else can we find here? Some sconces. A ninja costume. Oh, look at these little puzzle pieces. I think they're coasters. Purple is the color of the day. This is a purple tag, $2. So these three Jigsaw puzzle coasters are only a dollar. Those are really, really fun. Let's take those. Some more plaques, letters, nibble dishes here. Oh, look at these birds. How vintage are those? Only two dollars. Flying mallards. We'll take that. It's a little wooden dish. This is a really good example of my number two super secret thrifting tip. I took a moment to look this up on eBay and you are not going to believe how much it's listed for. I used eBay's camera feature to do a search. $125. Number two tip. If you're a reseller and you notice that something's been moved around in the store, it means that someone else was interested in it. And if someone else is interested in it, it means that others will most likely enjoy it too. Continuing with my second go around the store, these are little Bath and Body Works slatkin candle trays. These used to do quite well for me, but I just don't think I can get $20 goal profit. This, on the other hand, is amazing. This is a little eagle whistle on a necklace. Perfect condition. Absolutely lovely. We will definitely take that. I'm just turning into the plates and bowls aisle and noticed the word dragon on this mug. I love everything about it. The shape, the blue with the white, the old style calligraphy. It's a nice weight. It looks to be artisan pottery. Here there be dragons. Let's keep going on the shelf. Back here is a, oh, it's a, a cake pedestal. I thought it was going to be ceramic, but it is um, melamine, I believe. It's a target piece, $4. I might think about that. These are really nice as risers for candles. Um, my subscribers have told me they use them in the bathroom for, for toiletries. We will think about that. Oh, look at this sweet little cup and saucer. It has a ladybird on the body and a butterfly on the handle. So sweet. I don't often pick up cups and saucers, but I think I will make an exception for this. No chips or cracks. $3. 
we'll pop it in the cart. Let's keep going a little way on this aisle, see what else we can find. All sorts of different plates, sets. These are interesting. Let's have a look, see what these are. These are Dansk Bistro. Those are a modern production and not worth ever so much. And as you know, I am not really a fan of shipping plates and platters. I don't know what it is, but uh, just not my favorite. This is a fun piece, Salem stoneware. Unfortunately, there's only one of those. We are here in the kitcheny bit section and I have spotted these sweet little chickens, little baby chicks, salt and pepper. We'll take those. So much to see over here. It's a little cat bowl with fish bones. I have these same margarita glasses. There's a set of four there. Here is a little rooster. And in here look looks like some crystal salt and pepper shakers. Let's have a closer look at these. I think I see a signature on those. As you can tell, I'm very easily distracted by other things, but let's put these in the cart and we will take a close look at these salt and pepper shakers, possibly Oleg Cassini. What does that say? They have no damage. Let me see if I can show you the signature. Let's zoom in just a bit. There it is, Oleg Cassini. These are about a 20 to $30 set. Way up on the top shelf is a lovely mid-century bowl. It looks like Culver, but sadly it is really, really worn, as is this gorgeous horse sculpture. He's got some damage and the paint is flaking off all over. That is really a shame. All sorts of kitcheny bits here. This is a reproduction German Stein. $12.99 on that. Lots of creamers and sugars. Coffee pots and canisters. Do stay tuned for the end of the video where in the haul I will be revealing my number one super secret thrifting tip. It's my very favorite one and uh, it can often make you a lot of profit. So don't miss that. We're keeping going here in the kitcheny bits. The shelves are very full. These bowls are very pretty but lightweight made in China. The edge of this blue swirl ball is very sharp, not good quality. Cookie jars, spoon rests. I'm looking for anything vintage. Here are some Avon house canisters, set of three. This is a very modern and lightweight rooster creamer. I wish it was better quality. There's a little demitasse there. All sorts of canisters and jars and liquid dispensers. Here's a restaurant wear little creamer.
It's a fun little milk pail style. Is it a vase, possibly? So much glass, some more of those margarita glasses at the back. Serving bowls and plates. Oh, this is gorgeous. Look at this beautiful etched glass serving bowl. $13 on that. It is beautiful, but it's big and heavy, and I am going to leave it for someone else. There's a yellow Pyrex bowl. Looks like it's been through the dishwasher a few times. Please don't put your Pyrex or your mugs or glasses in the dishwasher. Do take a minute to wash them by hand. It's so worth it in the long run. A couple of candlesticks. A new trend is mismatched candlesticks. Similar but mis mismatched. So do be on the lookout for those. I have several at the moment, so I am going to leave them into this nice lady who watches my channel and I saw that she had um, the rest of these in her cart so I completed her set now she has four and she got this lovely lovely vase we looked at too I like it it's not yeah it's not that old but yeah it looks like it's enamel doesn't yeah. it oh and that's pretty too oh yeah Mexico that's a good find they're lovely Nicely done. I learned, I learned from you. <laughs> well, bless your heart. Thank you so much. So look at this. This is Snoopy on his um, little house. It says Merry. It is five dollars, but I love it so much. It'll go with my sweater I found with um, Danny and Jordan. And over here, it's a cat person mug. Look at this. That's lovely. Ninety-nine cents. We are taking a stroll through the artwork to see if anything jumps out at us. They have a big long wall of it here. So many pieces to see. I'm looking for vintage frames that will clue me in to a possibly original piece of art. Not seeing anything there. Let's make our way over to the smaller artwork pieces and frames. It's a sweet little black lab puppy here. Over here I'm looking for uh, cross stitch and needlework pieces. Trying to keep my profit margin up right around the $20 mark. Not seeing anything here. So let's pop around the corner into the lamps. Here is a gorgeous milk glass bedside lamp. Look at this. Very, very vintage. Unfortunately, the little separators are extremely cracked right here. That is such a shame because it's a gorgeous, gorgeous piece. Based on that, I will have to leave it. Let's make sure there's nothing else down here. It's a little teddy bear and a moon. This is Halloween. Everything with a black tag is 50% off. I'm just checking out all these pumpkins. Most of what's left is a bit damaged, but I love this. It's a purple Day of the Dead luminary skull. He's fantastic. Only $3 we will take him. And this looks like an inflatable. I have a sneaky suspicion that this is one of their full retail pieces that has snuck its way onto the shelf but I am going to pop it in the cart and double check because he would be fun in my yard lots and lots of little pumpkins mustn't forget the skull oh look at this I have one of these at home 
So I think I will grab that as well. They are um, Hallmark pumpkins. They have intentional crazing and a candle inside. So it would be fun to have a pair of those. Pop that there. That's just some sticky label on it. Let's grab my skull and see what else they have. This is a wicker and wire pumpkin full of potpourri style stuff. These unfortunately have a tendency to get really, really dusty and they're ever so hard to clean. So as much as that is fun, I'm going to leave it. Oh look, here's a huge stack of those inflatable doggies. I think mine will be going back on the shelf. We are just going to take a quick peek in the purses on our way out to see if there is anything fun here. A crochet bag. This is a little vintage gold purse here. A little bit of damage on the bottom, I'm going to leave it. This is a fun piece. I've bought and sold these before. Easy $20. Nice crochet with uh, little suede patches there. Really fun little crossbody piece. Clean inside, $4. Let's do it. So I don't know if you can get the full effect, but the sky in Vegas tonight is an absolutely incredible pink color right over here to the west. If you would like to purchase an item you see in my haul, please email me at thriftingvegas.tiffany at gmail.com. Please include your name, your address, the item, and the price I mention. If it's available, I will send you an emailed invoice. Here on my counter is everything I found at Goodwill. I didn't realize I had bought so much until I got it home and uh, we ended up with quite a substantial haul here. First we have these really fun little bamboo wooden coasters and as I was playing with them I discovered that they actually fit together like this. I think there was originally a set of four which is quite a shame but I think they look really fun set up like that uh, as a corner display. You could put a couple of little vases or some teeny tiny little animal figurines on them. Uh, and uh, I paid a dollar for them. They were on purple tag, 50% off sale. I am going to ask $12. Back here we have our gorgeous mid-century uh, George Briard plate. It does show somewhere, unfortunately. Still, it is a beautiful wheat sheaf square plate with a uh, gold design. I paid two dollars for it. You can see George Briard's signature in the corner there. I am going to ask fifteen dollars. I absolutely love these little reindeer place card holders. They just add a little class and whimsy to your Christmas table. There are four in here. They are metal. They include some little place cards, 12 of them. I paid $5 for these. I am going to ask $18. I absolutely love this little cardinal bird figurine. 
She's so chubby and happy and fun and she would be really a fun addition to any Christmas display. I paid $3 for her. I am going to ask $15. This is a handmade vintage Christmas ornament. It is made of little sequins that are individually pinned into the tree here. I believe it's from the 1970s. They are very, very collectible. There is the bottom. I paid $3 for it. I am going to ask $25. This is a vintage flocked cat. She's absolutely amazing. She has painted eyes and nose. There's her base. She is a tabby cat. She has the tabby cat markings on her. Super, super piece. I paid $4 for her. I am going to ask $20. I often find these Hallmark Acorn canisters, but I don't often find them unused. This is a brand new one. Its candle is untouched, as you can see. It's in lovely condition, no chips. I just have to remove that Goodwill tape. There is the bottom, I paid $4 for it. And this is going to be available in my uh, booth I'm going to have at the Danny, the Niche Ladies store. I'm just not comfortable shipping candles out of Vegas because even now, uh, in the direct sun, this candle would melt. Here is a Mexican pottery luminary skull. It's absolutely fantastic, hand painted. The detail is incredible. And what you do is put a candle underneath and uh, it shines through his eyes and jaw bones. Just an amazing piece. He was on 50% off clearance. I paid $3 for him. I am going to ask $30. Back here, we have our crocheted Christmas tree. I can just imagine all the work that somebody put into making this amazing piece, all the ruffles that look like branches. And I'm sure some of you are so crafty, you could make some amazing decorations for this lovely, lovely tree. I paid $3 for it. I am going to ask $15. Back here is one of my finds of the day. This is a Living Solutions hanging glass sun catcher with dragonflies on it. And I know how many of you love your dragonflies. So I snatched this up in a flash. I paid $6 for it. I am going to ask $35. Here is a lovely oversized Snoopy Christmas mug. It says Merry and peanuts on the back. I paid up for this one. It was $5, but I couldn't resist. I think I am going to use this myself for this Christmas. And maybe, just maybe, it might be available in the new year. Back here we have our super modernist vase. I think this would look amazing with a little air plant in it to look like hair. It is white ceramic with gold painted uh, features. I paid $5 for her. I'm going to ask $25. Next we have our lovely Midwest of Cannon Falls bunny. New with tag, the artist is Eddie Walker, very sought after, many people collect uh, pieces by this artist, signed Eddie on the back there, I paid $3 for him, 
I am going to ask $20. I absolutely love this piece. This is a vintage, I believe it's oil painting on slate. It's framed in wood and marked on the back. Let me show you. This way. Made in Portugal there. I would guess that this is from the 70s, possibly earlier, but it's in immaculate condition. It's amazing it's still intact. Absolutely lovely. I paid $4 for it. I am going to ask $35. This is a lovely little canister by Grace's Teaware. It's got fall or spring, whatever you like, trees on it. A different tree on every side, blue, yellow, and green. There's the bottom, Grace fine ceramic. I paid $4 for it. I'm going to ask $18. I always pick these up when I find them. This is a artist's mannequin. It uh, helps artists in drawing the human form. This is a vintage one. Noting the little screws are Quite patinaed there, it's very articulated at every joint, it does show a little wear on the stem as well. I paid $3 for it, I'm going to ask $18. I was so excited to find this fetish bear, I believe he is stone, he's ever so heavy, he's carved. I paid up for this guy $9.99 and I just can't find another one like him online. He is not marked. He does have green felt on his base, but if anybody is familiar with the maker of this fellow, if you could please leave me a comment, I would be very much appreciative. And if you would like to make me an offer on this guy, please send me an email, thriftingvegas.tiffany at gmail.com. Please include your name, your address, the item you're interested in, this bear or any other, and uh, the amount of your offer. Back in the corner here, we have a little vintage uh, wall hanging. It's a Burwood piece. Really fun, no damage, very 70s. It's a mission. I love the pinks and browns and blues. I believe I paid $3 for it. I am going to ask $20. This is a gorgeous piece of Native American pottery. It is signed on the bottom. I can't make out the artist's name, but under the artist's name, it says Sioux, the Sioux tribe. I paid $4 for this gorgeous piece. I am going to ask $20. I just noticed how lovely these four pieces look displayed together. The mission, the Sioux pottery, the bear, and lastly, this gorgeous uh, Himalayan pink salt rock votive holder. I have actually never found a smooth one before. They're usually rough in texture, but this one is lovely. You can see the variance in the salt here. There's dark areas and then there are actually translucent areas at the back. Absolutely lovely. It would look stunning with a candle in it. I paid six dollars for it. I am going to ask $25. This piece is another one of my very favorites. This is a little New Orleans girl. She's absolutely gorgeous. She has pink streaks in her hair. She's holding a blue lollipop. She's wearing uh, some bell-bottom pants, really 70s. 
Look at those eyelashes. I paid $4 for her. I am going to ask $25. This is a really fun mug. All sorts of cats in a rainbow of colors. I love it because there's turquoise blue ones, there's pink ones, red ones. Really, really fun. I paid 99 cents for it. I'm going to ask $18. And on the handle, it says cat person. <laughs> this is a really interesting piece. It is a whistle made out of pottery in the shape of a flying eagle. It's a really, really stunning piece of work. I, I haven't tried it to see if it whistles yet because I would recommend it be sterilized first. But I paid $3 for this piece. I am going to ask $25. Next, we have this lovely little crossbody purse. Very simple, very neutral colors. It's crocheted with some suede patches and some fuzzy uh, leopard patches there. I paid $4 for it. I'm going to ask $20. It's nice and clean on the inside. Simple zipper. Don't you just love these little chicks? They're salt and pepper shakers. One is bursting out of his blue eggshell. The other one is already free. They have their stoppers in them. I paid $3 for them. I am going to ask $18. Staying with salt and peppers, here is our gorgeous crystal Oleg Cassini set. So gorgeous. When you have salt and pepper in them, you can see right through because the, the little uh, cavity there is obviously see-through and visible from all angles. Lovely faceted pieces. I paid $6 for these. I am going to ask $22. Over here is what I originally thought was a Raku piece, but uh, when I lifted the tag, it says made in Japan with a little Japanese symbol. So I think <laughs> what I found is actually a little uh, wasabi or soy sauce dish but it's still really fun and it looks like um, a raku finish so you could use it for earrings or trinkets or your rings by the sink anything you like I paid two dollars for it I'm going to ask fifteen dollars I would guess that this is the oldest piece of everything I found this is a Mallard Duck by Naturecraft, Seattle, Washington, little plaque. It's two Mallard Ducks mounted on this shield here. Unfortunately, this lower one has a little paint loss on his face and a little crack across his body, but he is stable. He's not uh, compromised too much. The other duck has a little paint loss on the wing that is in great shape. Absolutely lovely piece. I can see this uh, appearing in a set of a uh, old time TV show, like maybe Leave It to Beaver or one of those old shows. Mr. Rogers, it's very Mr. Rogers, isn't it? I paid $2 for it. I am going to ask $20. I absolutely love this brass charger plate. Actually, it's not a charger. I think it is um, a candle display. Not really sure. I just love the depth of the indent here. It does have a label on the back. The label says, I believe it says Till, till Bud or Till Bod. I had no luck in my research but uh, I do believe it is brass. I paid $4 for it. 
I am going to ask $25. You can't help but giggle at this sign. It says, weekend guest. If we get to drinking Sunday afternoon and start insisting that you stay over until Tuesday, please remember we don't mean it. Couldn't resist, super fun. It could either be a wall hanging, it's got a little hall for hanging or a trivet. $3, I'm going to ask $18. Last but not least, my two favorite pieces. Look at this dragon mug. Here, there be dragons. It is a pottery piece, artisan made. It has the potter's mark here. I'm not familiar with it, but the quality of the piece is amazing. And look at this dragon. Isn't he fantastic? Just an amazing mug. I paid, I believe I paid $3.99 for it. It's in perfect shape, no damage at all. It doesn't look like it was ever used. I am going to ask $25. And here is my star of the show, appearing for $125 on eBay. None sold, however. This is a Bombay Company little lidded jar. It's blue and white, beautiful design, little hearts and flowers here, polka dots on top, beautiful piece. I paid six dollars for it. Uh, I'm not going to ask 125. If you would like it, it is yours for the bargain price of 35 dollars. As promised, I'm now going to share with you my number one super secret thrifting tip. You're at a thrift store, you find something you love and you look it up on eBay to discover its value. You find that it is worth a considerable amount of money. Go ahead and do a search for other items in that brand. Sort by the highest price listed and you will find a bolo list of items in that brand that can make you a ton of money. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed my thrifting trip to Goodwill and my haul. Again, if you see something you're interested in purchasing, send me an email, thriftingvegas.tiffany at gmail.com. Please include your name, your address, the item you're interested in and your offer. As a reminder, I am now selling on Whatnot. I will put my code at the bottom here for you. If you have not yet signed up on whatnot.com and you use my code, you will receive $15 in credit to spend on any item on the website. With that, please stay tuned for some fun footage of Bear, Bandit and Ziggy. I'll see you next time. Bye. A couple of weeks ago, Jake and I found two little green caterpillars on our lemon tree and we really didn't want them taking bites out of all the new leaves. So we put them in a butterfly enclosure with some water, gave them a couple of fresh leaves every single day. Not long after they turned into chrysalises and last night they hatched into these gorgeous moths. We are letting them go in the garden and we just wanted to share it with you. So a chewy box just arrived and Bear is very excited. What did we get Bear? What did we get? We got some cat food. I think there's something for, ooh, bubble wrap. I'm never as excited as when we get bubble wrap. Oh, what's that? Oh my goodness. We got you some extra large antlers. Oh my goodness, look at these. Would you like, <laughs> sit. Bear, sit. Bear, is he? Sit. Sit. Good boy. 
Let's get one out of the packet. Hold on, I have to take the label off. These are Bear's favorite. They are all natural elk antlers made in the USA. Sit. Bear, sit. <laughs> He's saying, please. Is this what you want? You want a new antler, please? Oh, good boy. Can you take it? <laughs> you want me to hold it for you? Oh, those are just the best. And those are just the best. Oh, he's such a good boy. He's such a good boy. It's your favorite. It's your favorite. Ziggy is here. Yeah. Hi. Hi. 